25 year old living in New York City. I'm an ex software engineer and a YouTuber, and earlier this summer, I moved here after living in LA for two years. It's no secret that New York is an expensive city, and today I wanted to share my day and track exactly how much I spent. So stick around if you're curious to see what a 25 year old like myself spends in a day. I'll be tracking things like food, gym costs, but also how much I pay for rent for my room in this New York City apartment. Enjoy the vlog. So it's 9.50 a.m. This is the earliest I've woken up since I've moved to this house. With that said, I normally don't wake up early enough for breakfast, but today um, I have because I'm gonna be going to the gym with my roommates. Hopefully they wake up. So since it is kind of early, breakfast today is a banana. So I picked up some coffee from Blank Street. This was $5.17, I think. This is a staple in my daily spending. Coffee in New York is anywhere from like $5 to $7. Next stop of the day is I'm headed to the gym now with Kelly. We woke up early today. I woke up at 9 a.m. So unrealistic for me. All right, up next is my gym expense. I'm paying $225 a month for this gym. Definitely the most expensive gym that I've ever paid for, but I've been coming here every day for the past week. I say this a lot, but I think fitness and health is something that's worth investing in. Since coming here every day, I definitely do feel a lot healthier, a lot more productive. Today, Kelly and I are hitting shoulders. Why is this gym worth $7.50 a day to you? It's $7.50 a day? Yeah. Divided by 30. Can't put a price tag on health. There's like a common area down here. You know, I used to pay 200 bucks a month for a WeWork, but now I cancel my WeWork, and yesterday I was working here for three hours. There's Wi-Fi, there's food, there's drinks. Worth it. Absolutely. Okay, for lunch, I picked up Chipotle chicken bowl and this cost me $12.47. I hardly ever cook during lunch. Either I spend an hour cooking or I spend 12 bucks and I eat Chipotle real fast and then I get back to work. I'm headed out. Guess how much I'm gonna spend today? Rent included. $300. $536. Bro, $536? Over guess. That man is going Bad broke. guess. Keep up the good filming. That was so weird. You walked out <laughs> and then you literally walked in. Guess how much I'm gonna spend today? Everything. And I'm also gonna go shopping with Sean. Oh, <laughs> Just has expensive taste for sure. I'm gonna say 600. Ooh, that's Bro, a lot. Six Cause you're going shopping. Yeah. All right, man, do you wanna come with us? I have to edit. Wait, do you edit everything yourself? Yeah, pretty much. You know, if you want to look into scaling your business, you could use Upwork.com to hire talent like video editors. What's Upwork? Upwork is the full-scale solution for work and finding talent to scale any business. Let's run back to 2018. As a broke college student studying computer science in Boston, I had some coding skills and I wanted to earn some extra money. This is not an exaggeration, but there was a period when I went on Upwork.com every single day to check for new freelance gigs I could work on. I was able to complete a few coding jobs on there and earn some money doing so. Here's another one in June 2018. So when Upwork reached out to collaborate, I was very excited because honestly, I use that website all the time to find work. Upwork delivers businesses a singular destination that gives them access to the freelance and full-time talent they need. Millions of companies, anywhere from one-person startups to over 30% of the Fortune 100, use Upwork to get great work done. Categories include website and app development, creative and design, customer support, finance and accounting, consulting, and operation. Upwork is a great resource to continue scaling your business during the holidays. So how do I use this for my business? So first step, you can sign up as a business and post a job. You add a headline, select the skills required for the job, estimate the scope of the work, add a location, a budget. After you post your job, you'll receive proposals and you can invite talent to your job. Once you've found your expert, you can talk timings, availability, and prices before moving forward. This is pretty cool. Upwork has you covered with collaboration tools for product tracking. You can chat, share files, and video call with your talent. There's 24 seven premium customer support, as well as an extra level of security with Upwork payment protection. So click the link in my description to learn more and thank you Upwork for sponsoring this video. Sean wanted to go shopping, so right now I'm outside Dover Street Market and he's on his way about to meet me. So I lived in New York for a year and then I moved to LA for two years and then just this summer, four months ago, I moved back to New York. And whenever I meet people here in New York City, the first thing that they ask me is, what do I like better, New York or LA? I'm gonna compare and contrast the monetary aspect of the two cities. And really only three aspects come to mind, food, rent, and transportation. Food is pretty much the same. I eat at the same restaurants, Chipotle, Cava. And then for transportation, back in LA, I drove a 2018 used 
Honda Civic. All expenses included, I was paying about $600 a month. And when you compare that to what I pay for transportation here in New York, I take my boosted board, which just charges, so that's pretty much close to $0. The only big difference here is rent, and uh, I'm gonna talk about that part later because I think Sean is here. Oh. How much money do you think I'm gonna spend today? Rent, gym. It's like your rent divided by day, 30. $400. I probably go window shopping once a week and I figured this is a good realistic uh, little activity we could do together. Little activity. Over Street Market is a, what is it, streetwear? Streetwear, high-end streetwear store. This is $105, what do you guys think? Oh, the $105? Yeah. Worth? That's like 10 Chipotle bowls right there. <laughs> uh, all right, good fit, size large. What videos do you take? YouTube videos. Really? You're a YouTuber? Yes. Juice Generation, $10.83. Okay, I'm now gonna share with you how much I pay for rent in this New York City apartment. This is a townhouse. We have three bedrooms upstairs, a basement downstairs, and this is my bedroom. All right, come on in. What I pay for rent for this spot is $3,400 a month. Before you say anything, let me show you what it entails. I have my own bathroom. I am one of two bedrooms that have their own bathroom. And this is also the nicest bathroom I've ever had. You know, compared to LA, I lived in LA and rent there was $1,200 a month. But you have to consider, I was in Mid-City, which is, you know, a more affordable place in LA. So it's not that New York City is super expensive compared to LA. The farther you go away from the heart of New York City, the cheaper your rent would be. Let me show you outside. We have a washer dryer upstairs, which is a big big perk and then this is the common area space we have a kitchen we have a living room and then an outdoor garden in the back guess Just how much slow <laughs> guess how much i'm gonna spend today gym included yeah you spent 2.5k brother a day yeah he's day. bougie no, buy dinner that's why <laughs> We are currently eating at a Vietnamese restaurant. It's always nice when I can get all the roommates out of the house together for a meal. This happens maybe once a week. I have shot with everybody the other day. Shots don't count, Issa. <laughs> That's not real food. Though. All right, Ashley, how much am I spending today? $555. We all got the beef pho, and we also also got the Thai tea. We're splurging today. Thank you, guys. Why is everyone saying thank you to me? I'm not treating guys. Grand total for dinner is $27.72. But the memories are priceless. Thank you, Cole. All right, guys, I've gathered you here today. Pretty low reward for you to be here, but I'm gonna tell you how much I spent. My total is $281.69. What? Let's go! Yeah. Shirt, 105. Is that the shirt, shirt you got? This is the shirt I got. Do you guys like it? $400. Dude, that's a pack like graphic. But this is a really good brand, probably. Fire. Probably. Guys, am I spending too much? No, that's fine. You're spending more than me, probably. Are you happy? Yes, I am. Thanks for watching. Thai iced tea was $6.50. Jeez, 